What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. It is time for Operation New Outfit. We're gonna go clothing shopping, except instead of clothing shopping, it's gonna be buying a brand new super awesome ship. And so I think we're gonna step away for a little bit from the smaller ships. And let's try the big guy here. I don't know what the big guy's outfitting is, but I'd be willing to bet... Oh, we gotta sell our ammo first. That's what it was. I remember there's something... Oh, we gotta sell all cargo and all ammunition first. Hmm. Let's find another place where we can sell stuff. Preferably with a shipyard. Let's see here. Well, let's just, we'll jump over to here. This will be fine. We'll jump on over to, what was that place called? Way something? Way step? Way in step? Okay. So we're going to way in step right now. And in way in step, what our goal is going to be is to sell off all of our ammunition. We're going to sell off all of our goods. And then once we're done there, we're going to flip this around for a new ship. We're going to outfit it completely. And we're going to see if we can turn it into a murder machine so that we can try out some of the newer stuff. Because I know all of you out there haven't seen the grenade launchers yet, aside from the AI using them against us. And you haven't seen the torpedoes either. And in fact, I haven't seen the torpedoes. And so I'm a little bit excited. So I'm not going to torpedo the plan. We're just going to go for it. We're going to allow it to happen. It looks like way in step is actually going to come to us. We're just throwing ourselves into the orbital ring and it's going to overlap us before we can get to it that's fine i love not doing work not doing work is one of my favorite things if, it could, if, if not doing work was a skill and this was like vanilla world of warcraft i would have like some skill levels in it i would have skill levels in that 325 was that the no it was 300 in vanilla it's 300 i would have 300 in not doing work and that's not something you should necessarily brag about but you know what i'm gonna brag about it because i can Let's have a look through here, and we need to get ourselves a new ship, so I want to try the big guy out. I don't think there's any reason- oh, we gotta sell our ammo too, so let's- Wait, when did we get a bunch of bullets and torpe- when did we get a bunch of torpedoes? I don't recall ever having torpedoes. Did we loot them off the enemy, maybe? That's weird. Either way, let's edit our ship. We're gonna go ahead and buy a new hull. And I think we're gonna go with the sea lot, and I just want to see what the sea lot can do. We have 85,000 credits, so hopefully it can do something awesome. The only thing we want to look at right now is we're going to look at weapons fixtures and where we can put those. And so there's actually only one spot for a turret right there. That's a little bit disappointing. Okay. All right. My, my inclination is to think that this is supposed to be for a cargo hauler. But I just haven't gotten... I don't know. The Piranana doesn't have enough space. It just doesn't make me happy using the Piranana. So... Eh, we'll see. What we, let's see what we can do with other stuff here. Let's see if maybe can it have a, a pearl tube torpedo. No, it can't have torpedoes either. So it's a little bit weird that they've only got one ship that can actually use any of the guns in the game. Like it's a little bit disappointing, in fact, because the smallest ship in the game is the only one that can equip weapons, and then it's so small that you can't do anything else with it. Like it is only 100% good for combat. It's worthless for everything else. So I guess we'll go with the Piranano for right now. It's not my favorite ship. In fact, it's way too small for it to be useful to us, like, in any extent of the word. But I want to try out the different weapons, so I guess we'll just move along. How do I swap back to a ship that I already have? It says that I still have the Turtle Rock. It, however, does not say that I have the Sea Lot. Oh, well. Not going to ponder it too hard. So where does everything go? Oh, the hull is still broken, though. That's enjoyable. Oh, look, it is allowing me to repair multiple times now. I knew I could break it. I knew I could break it if I tried. Let's see here. They've got chemicals. Yikes. I'm not sure I want those on board. Computers, though. Computers are pretty awesome, considering I earn my living with one. I love computers. So let's go and uh, we need to outfit the ship. So we need to buy rooms. The living facilities, obviously, we have to have a cabin for four. Although, let me outfit it for combat first. So we'll take some weapons here. You can have a ton of guns. God. Let me actually... We're going to cancel that. Let me delete this for a second. So what we need to do is... Let's have a look at our rooms here. We can have a ton of machine guns. Like, we can really kind of kick the ass off somebody if we want to. Or we can have better guns and a couple turrets. So let's think about... Let's take the torpedo bay because I'd like to play around with it. And then we'll also consider taking a rat attack cannon, which only takes up one slot, so it should be okay. I'll probably put it down over here, though, just to kind of make it out of the way. Then what we'll do is we'll have one ammo bay right there. Probably not going to have too much cargo, so we'll go for like two cargoes down there, but that's about it. We'll just take the most valuable stuff from the things that we steal. And living quarters... If I put people on alternate shifts, we might be able to get away with smaller living quarters. So we'll try that first. And if that doesn't work, we'll kind of go back on it. We need to put in a good toilet. 
we need to put in if we're going to upgrade them we've got to put in workout equipment or no we need to put in entertainment is what it is so recreation we can put in an arcade box over here we need a food box I'm not gonna bring the I'm not gonna put in one of the boxes for pills because I don't think that's gonna be that useful we need a science lab and a shield so there's the science lab we also need a shield so let's grab one of those and that's gonna leave us with actually let me move you up to here we'll put the shield right there and then we'll put in an extra cargo hold and so we should have enough right here to make short voyages of murder and get by without having to do too much I think I think we should be okay I don't know we'll be okay but I think we'll be okay we'll repair everything and let's maybe see if we can go hijack some freight or something or I don't know get in a fight or do something a little bit rowdy and so right there they want me to beat up that guy who beat him in League of Legends again apparently he's not very good at League of Legends because he is constantly getting beat at it and then what we need to do is let's go to our crew menu or menu and then we will go and we'll promote her into a better shooter we'll promote him into a better repairer oh he'll need exercise does he need exercise or does he need entertainment he needs exercise okay well, he can be a medic then if people get wounded his new skill is piloting we have a lot of people getting piloting actually just a tad disappointing I'm hoping although technically that means I could fire him and just have him pilot but then he won't be repairing all the time once he runs out of stuff to do with science I may make him the pilot so once we get our final outer ring research done I'll probably fire this guy and have him move in and just be a pilot and then he'll just have the science so that he can use the shields when we're doing other stuff and that'll work out okay that'll be pretty awesome so yeah they need exercise so I put the wrong thing in right here the exercise room though I think is a little bit larger if I remember correctly Yeah, the weight sits a little bit, so the exercise thing is not going to work for us here. So that means I can either... I hate how small this ship is, I really sincerely do. I guess I can get rid of another one of my cargo rooms. And bring this down to here. And then we can put the exercise machine in right there, I guess. And that's going to be about the best that I can do for right now until a bigger ship gets put into the game. And where do we need to go for murdering this guy? We need to go to Trimund. Okay, I think we're already on. No, we're on Wayne's step. Let's go to Trimund then. Lots of people beating other people up over video games in Trimund. It's their number one export. Aside from robots and whatever the hell else it is they do there. I don't really know. I didn't pay attention. Captain, the snack machine's power cable got crippled by critter teeth. The food starts digesting itself again. And there's the guy that we're going to be fighting with. So let's go ahead and get back in over here. Oh, I forgot to buy ammo. I forgot to buy ammo like a ditz. Okay, let's go ahead and run away then. We have no choice. We've got to flee from this guy. We're actually going to fail the mission, but this at least allows me a moment to put them on the right tasks. So let's go to my guys down here. He's going to operate the torpedoes. She's going to operate a cannon, so that's fine. I don't really know how well this is going to work because it actually can be sort of hard to line people up for the side shots. Okay, so we did that, unfortunately. we're gonna He's going to get mad at us for doing that. But we'll land in Trimund, I think. If they have a shipyard, we should be fine. Looks like we just go back to Wayne's Step, to be honest. We'll just land right there. It'll take us a day to get there. We'll buy ourselves some ammo. That's what I forgot. I knew I forgot something. I always forget something when I play this game. So we'll buy some grenades. We'll buy some torpedoes. And that should keep us... Indecent. I also need to arrange people so that they're working alternating shifts. Because as you saw right there, there was a bunch of people waiting to go and sleep. So unfortunately, that's going to become a problem. But anyways, with ammo, we'll buy those. And then we'll buy 12 of those. So we only have 12 of each. We're going to have to make this thing work. We're going to have to make this thing work. Let's go jump this guy over here. Who can we intercept? I want to intercept people. There we go. We'll intercept this guy. And so now our guns are ready to go. We should be all right. Let's go ahead and give ourselves an overhead view of the space area that we are in. 
We can't intercept any of these guys. I'm trying to find people that are closer, by the way. Research on the Outer Ring has been completed. You can start a new research project now. Is there anything actually to research? Yeah, there's nothing to research. So that leads us to our innate ability to fire our crew here. So let's fire him. And so what we'll do now is we'll take tasks and we want him to pilot now. And so there it is. He will be our new pilot. And so I guess we just jettison the other pilot off into space. We should be okay though unless it bugs out on us. How do I click these little ships? They are hard to click. Let's just go to Zombotch. We should be okay. You see how we were drifting right there for a second though? That's what happens if you end up with your cockpit getting destroyed or anything else gets damaged. I think it might be better just to run four machine guns. Four machine guns would save a lot of space. I think. Well, we'd save one over here. So we could condense a little bit. Like two machine guns and a grenade launcher possibly. So basically get rid of this. I don't know. It would, do, it would take some finagling, but I think we can make it work. I definitely think we can make it work. And so now that he's doing that, actually I might have him pilot at night instead so that... I'm going to have you pilot at night. There we go. So that your free time is opposite of everyone else's free time. And that'll keep us sort of... Well, they do free time all the time, but it'll keep you opposite of this guy, I guess. It's it's removing little... It's removing little obstructions. you got to start with what you can handle. It's taking us a long ass time to get over here. How come it's impossible? Can I only attack people in outer ring systems? Is that why? I can only commit horrid piracy if we're not inside the inner system? Or does it just come down to trajectories and directions that they're moving? Well, never mind. Not going to think about it too hard. Let's find another combat mission. Okay, so there's Bloody Fanaticism. That's the one with the cult that we have to destroy out in the middle of nowhere. This guy wants a four-leaf clover and way in step. He's got ten days on that. Where do we have to go for this one? I wasn't looking. Triamon. So Triamon appears to have all kinds of problems just with violence. That's what they do. Just violence. Out we go to Triamon. Hopefully our shield decides to work because if it don't, I'm gonna cry. He's still set up to function with our shield, right? Hold on, I'm trying to... Eh, let me look at things. So he's still operating shields in battle, right? Okay, good. Fantastic. And he's quite good at it as well. So what I'd like to do now... Oh, he's our pilot and he's operating our shields. That's not good. Hmm. Is that just like a seeker weapon? Because it says 100%, so I assume like we win as long as we use that. I don't really know how this works, but it seems pretty awesome. So basically I have nobody that can, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So tasks in battle, I need you to pilot. There we go. And I'll pull you out as necessary. Ooh, 300 damage, not bad. Fire another one. Give them a volley. Okay, so I'm gonna have him, yeah, fly in a circle. We're gonna ignore that contact right there. I'm gonna put up the sh oh, our shield is not functioning. Our shield is not functioning. We're all gonna die. I am not, well, a thousand, nah. We're just gonna blow this lady up. How come it's saying I'm not loaded on grenades, even though I very clearly am? Hmm. It's also not showing our range, weirdly enough. Oh, well, torpedoes seem to be OP mode, so we'll probably just go with those. Fire! <laughs> Oh my god, they're so OP. That's awesome. I enjoy this. It's pleasurable. Oh, the missile missed. Oh no, never mind. I got him. He only dropped four tons of loot? Who does that? I think it's bugged. I think he totally dropped more than enough loot. So I'm going to take that, and we'll take games, I guess, and that's going to be that. And so we made a little bit of money off that run. In fact, I may get rid of the rat attack cannon altogether since it appears to be bugged and not like tracking the ammo or anything like that. Oh, I should probably lower his... Yeah. Now that there's more stuff to do, I should probably get rid of that repair right there so that he has a little bit more free time because his needs look like they're piling up. He doesn't have enough time to handle them in his off time, so that's okay. We can now do combat missions fairly efficiently, though. Let's go to a place that has a shipyard. I want to go where somebody has a shipyard. Kind of the modified introduction to Cheers right there. Except instead of like a place that serves beer, we're looking for a place that serves implements of murder. 
totally awesome implements. The missiles seem like the only thing you really need. I'm not even going to worry about like equipping anything else on my ship. Frankly, the missiles are doing just fine, so we'll just stick with torpedoes for right now. It's weird that the torpedoes are heat seeking though, because as I understand it, torpedoes are like dumb fire. They just like fire in a direction and you might hit something with them. I don't think that torpedoes actually have tracking mechanisms, although I could be wrong. I mean, I don't really know anything about submarines or torpedoes or anything of that state, so. Off to the shipyard! To the shipyard we fly! It's weird that I need this slot to be filled right here, though. It's weird that this not isn't realigning. It bothers me, to be honest. It makes me sad. Let's go to the shipyard. We will repair the mediocre damage that has been inflicted upon us. We will repair the entire ship, and then we will go through. We're going to sell the rat attack cannon because it's lame. And we're going to figure out where we can stick a gun on this thing. Where can I stick a gun? Actually, let's sell off our super awesome loot, too. Our ill-begotten gains. There we go. I have almost 100,000 credits now. I wish there was a bigger ship, though. That could use more guns. That's the only thing I find myself wishing right now is that there was like a bigger like dreadnought class or something, you know? This is like a little frigate. It's just kind of running around like doing its thing. I want like a big badass ship that like lays people out, but I guess the torpedoes work for now, I guess. Sorry about that. I had to do a little cut right there. The game crashed on me. It happens every now and again. The game is just like, nah. So I've got to redo all the stuff that I just did, I think. Yeah. So it loaded my state, but that's fine. We'll go ahead and get rid of all of the things around here that we need to get rid of. I feel like my cash flow is a little bit lower than it actually was last time. Maybe it's because I repaired first. So we'll repair all the rooms. Now, I had wanted to get rid of the rat attack cannon. And I'll move this up here. Let me put the shields over there and put the ammo a little bit closer to there. And as I move things around, I would love to have like an extra room with... A normal turret inside of it for once we close the gap with the enemy so if I can find a place to put this I suppose that I could move it over to here yeah that seems okay I mean it's not exactly the most organized ship setup but it's it's something and so what we'll do is we'll go back and we'll buy ammo now I need to buy a few more torpedoes because we went through a bunch of those and now we'll just buy like an extra reload of bullets I don't think we need that many bullets but we'll actually let me get rid of the grenades that might free up some space yeah there we go you had a couple extra bullets in there. We completed our last mission, and so what I want to do now is maybe, what is this? You transport passengers? No, we don't. That's one thing we absolutely do not do. What a waste. We don't have anybody here that looks like they want to, there we go, bloody fanaticism. We'll take that one again, and then we need to fly off to Way and Step. So we're going to go to Way and Step, and on the back half of this episode, what I want to do is let's go look at some of like the outer limits of the galaxy. I think that might be fun too, so let's go to Way and Step first. Because I think that's like a, well, a reasonably short trip anyways. We'll be off to way instead of God, our ship is so disorganized. Oh well. Alright, off with the torpedes. And uh, she hasn't been assigned. Hold on, tasks. Let's go to, oh god. Okay, so tasks in a battal. I need you to operate the turret. There we go. We'll give her a hefty case of turret syndrome. And then... I don't want any of this to happen right now. Hold on. I need you all to just like chill for a second. She's got 500 bullets? How did that happen? Shields up! I think it has to do something like we're being hacked or something. And that's why our shield isn't working, but it's not really... I don't know. We're going to fire another torpedo, though, because it seems to be the thing to do. And then what I'd prefer to do is we're going to swap sides, and then we want to ram the enemy here. Because we want our torpedoes to be firing straight at them. We're going to ignore that call. Although, what are they offering me? 1,200. Refuse. You die because of your ridiculous haircut. Whoever said bad style wasn't lethal? I'm sure somebody has said it before. I don't know. But bad style is going to be lethal today. You saw that haircut. There is no excuse for that kind of type of vicarious Jimmy Neutron nonsense. Missiles away! Guns fire! Another missile that we will fire sideways out of our ship somehow. Yay! A glorious victory! And he dropped more loot than we could possibly carry. Well, what's expensive in the loot? Because that's really all I care about is that it's expensive, so... Let's take the chemicals. We'll take the minerals. The beer, not that expensive. Cosmetics, not that expensive. Tools, quite expensive. And so we'll take those, and then we'll take, like, one of cosmetics just to see, because I don't think I've actually ever had cosmetics. And so our ship should be in reasonable shape now. Ship shape. And so there's 5,600 credits for a job well done. And what I want to do now is let's launch for somewhere with a shipyard. And what do we have here? Holstein, Banorama, 
A prison complex, that's new. Google Hop. Congenium. None of these places actually seem to have shipyards, and so maybe that's the trick in going way out to, like, the outer linen. Eh, let's go to... Let's stop off in Vaughn, I guess, or one of these, one of these right here has to have... Seriously, one of these has to have a shipyard. Okay, well, maybe not. Maybe we will... Let's just hit... We'll go close, and I need to repair my ship. That's what I'm worried about right now, is in case we get jumped while we're out there, because it does have, like, a security rating for the outer systems. It seems like it gets a little bit more risky when you go out there. So things to be aware of, be careful when you go into outer systems, because this is my first sort of delving into unknown areas. Now, it does seem like the outer systems have a lot more things that can be traded like minerals and chemicals and things like that. They don't have shipyards, but what they do have is they actually seem to have a pretty hefty amount of things that can be brought back and traded for really, really high margins. So, things to think about in this whole thing, but let's stop off at Loft. What we'll try to do here is roll repair, we'll grab some more ammo, we'll jump back out in case we get attacked on our way out, and we'll see if we can carry some cargo around with us. We've got so much money right now that I may break off the series after this episode, because it seems like we've accomplished just about everything the game has to offer at the moment. Although I am very, very excited about the possibility of new things being added to the game. I mean, it seems like the game is going to have a lot of breadth once you get a little bit further. It's just that right now, it's sort of bare bones, which is fine. I mean, it can be bare bones. I don't really mind. It is an alpha after all, but I want to check out all the new bells and whistles. So this is definitely going to be a game that I follow as we go along. Now, did I unload cosmetics? Oh, cosmetics are actually really expensive. Okay, well, I was wrong there. Looks like cosmetics are one of the things that we want to carry around with us if we can. I have three cargo that is unaccounted for. Oh, chemicals. Okay. So actually, I should have taken the cosmetics first. Eh, no harm, no foul. It's all fine. Let's go ahead and repair that. Our split cargo bay is really sort of odd. Let's buy ourselves some more ammo, too, because obviously we used up a little bit right there. It looks like things have gone wrong here for a moment. Eh. There we go. All fixed. We'll get some more bullets. There it is. Chowan star. And then we fly back out to the outer limits. Let's see here. Let's go and... Okay, so we're done there. Let's go to 15 days to get to Holstein. Wow, that is a run right there, my friend. That is a run. I'm going to intercept Hendrik and Nilsson. Let's go do some piracy. Let's be pirates. Off we go. I was charged a pirate once, but that was at Baker Square. I mean, they charged me a definite pirate. It was unfortunate. That guy looks terrified. He's just like, eh, don't bother us right now. I have a receding hairline and a terrified look in my eye. You don't know what I'll do. It'll be terrifying. I will fly over the limit right now. I will exceed the boundaries of sanity and destroy you. Do not come here. Oh, we're already in fast forward. All right, let's wait. We'll be patient and we'll wait and we'll see what we can knock out with this freighter. We're going to be pirates. I don't know if that affects like your st like status or anything. Like people are going to attack you or whatever. But we've run out of things to spend money on. And none of the other ships will allow us to outfit them any better. So unfortunately, I think this may be like our final episode. And I may just let it go right here. We had our combat run through. We had our trading run through. And it's been fun. But then again, September and October are very, very busy months for releases. So maybe we'll focus on that for right now. Although I, it's kind of one of those things where we're getting closer to the end of Red Faction Guerrilla. And also closer to the end of... Legend of Grimrock, too, so we are very, very close to the edge with some of our series. So we've got a lot of things ending. We'll have a lot of new things coming in. Obviously, Aliens Isolation is getting played because I've been so excited about it. I'm a giant HR Geiger fan. I can't wait to see that game come along, so that's going to be happening. Even if the game is total suck, like 3 out of 10 suckage, I'm still going to play it. And so that's that. I don't think we're intercepting anybody. Okay, I guess we are. Oh, look, they're, they're finally not flying a pirate ship. I mean... It's sort of calling them a pirate. Fire torpedoes! Let's do a flyby. Like a fly guy in the sky. Oh, wow. We can actually front load our torpedoes. Oh, my God. It's about to be a bad day for you, pirate. Our shield isn't working, though, so I guess they have somebody hacking. Destruction! Damn, is that going to hurt? Oh, wow. He's tougher than... Okay, never mind. We just got flexed on right here. This guy knows what's up. Unleash torpedoes. Shoot everywhere that you can because we have no way to defend ourselves at the moment with shields. The only way we're going to survive this fight is if we make it end fast. Let's go ahead and ram them. It seems like a reasonably decent plan. Piracy! There are so many like little weird lines everywhere and I don't know what they mean. Load torpedoes! Fire! Torpedoes in the tube! Firing torpedo! Ready? Firing machine gun! 
What are they offering me in exchange for mur not murdering them? They want to give- No! Absolutely not. We still have torpedoes in the tube. You will suffer my wrath or you will give me what I desire. We shall never turn away for we are the first space pirate. He might be out of ammo. If we're out of torpedo ammo, this might be a problem. Fire! Then again, we should be able to get him pretty close. Hendrick Melson might get away with a slight, like, grazing right now. It looks like everybody has to take a dump. That seems like it would be a big problem, like... I read a bunch of books about, like, Vietnam and stuff, and if you were, like, down in the bush, like, in the middle of a firefight, you just, like, pooped your pants. And that was that. And you just kind of, like, let it happen. You didn't even worry about it. You'd be like, well, I'm in the middle of combat, I'm just gonna duke myself. What in the hell is that? Oh, I thought they were jettisoning cargo or something. Fire! It doesn't look like we're ramming right now. This is... This does not look like ramming at the moment. Oh, she gotta reload. Okay. We have no shields, so if we could, like, bring this home quickly... I think we'll just do a fly circle around him. We will fly a circle now that we're in the position where all we have left is machine gun ammo. We need to, like, be careful about our expenditures, though. Because I'm not sure we have enough to finish him off. We need to have at least enough to scare him into submission. I think he went to bed or something. Everybody should be reasonably fatigued. This fight is taking longer than expected. Just fly in a circle. That's going to be the most beneficial course of action, I think, for the guns that we have at the moment. Fire! Oh man. Let's try and switch sides, actually. We'll change our heading here. Are we out of bullets? What's going wrong here? Are we even piloting anymore? Like, what's going on? So you, sir, should be totally... Oh, he's going to take a dump right now. So you just left the wheel in the middle of combat to take a dump? He's like, you gotta go. You gotta go. Wow. Pilot fail. Epic pilot fail. Seriously? I think they should suspend the passage of time when you're in combat so that you're not building up... Yeah, he's on the run. So that you're not building up all these needs while you're in combat. Maybe they should just, like, suspend time while you're stuck there. Let's go somewhere to the shipyard and we'll fill up on ammunition. I think that's going to be the end of the episode for me. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcast for the next episode of Cosmonautica. Let me know down in the comments below. I mean, I'm probably going to break it off right here because there are a ton of other games to look at. There's Stronghold Crusader 2. There's all kinds of things going on that like, I'd really love to cover right now. It's a very, very busy time for game development. And so I feel like we've covered combat. We have covered the trading aspect of the game. There's not really a whole lot left. We've got more money than we could ever possibly spend. And so I figure until more gets added to the game, this is pretty much it. Like some kind of inherent story line that you work on in sandbox mode that'll be that so my name is Splattercat thank you for joining me in Cosmonautica get the game down below if you want to support the alpha development and you want to start reporting in bugs because there are quite a few you will run into them believe you me you've seen them during this playthrough and you'll see them in your own playthrough but it helps the developers make sure you're reporting them and giving them up and I will see you later take care everybody and hi do